Today's scripture reading begins in verse 1 of Psalm 42. As the deer pants for the water brooks, so my soul pants for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my food day and night, while they say to me all day long, Where is your God? These things I remember, and I pour out my soul within me. For I used to go along with the throng and lead them in procession to the house of God with a voice of joy and thanksgiving, a multitude-keeping festival. Why are you in despair, O my soul? And why have you become disturbed within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise Him for the help of His presence. O my God, my soul is in despair within me. Therefore I remember you from the land of the Jordan and the peaks of Hermon from Mount Mazar. Deep calls to deep at the sound of your waterfalls. All your breakers and your waves have rolled over me. The Lord will command His loving kindness in the daytime, and His song will be with me in the night. A prayer to the God of my life. How can believers conquer discouragement? Here are nine specific steps. One, look within. Examine yourself for the underlying cause. Two, admit that you're discouraged. This is something that's easy to avoid, ignore, or lie about, but denial doesn't help you grow. Three, identify precisely what you're discouraged about. Name it, then face it. Four, recall the nature of discouragement. Disappointments will come and go, but discouragement is a response, and we can respond in other ways. 5. Begin meditating frequently on Scripture. God's truth can help you accurately evaluate what you feel. 6. Take your area of discouragement to God in prayer. Ask Him to teach you how to respond to disappointment in healthy ways and be willing to act on His instruction. 7. Focus on the Lord, not your situation. Ask Him to help you see this disappointment and its lessons from His perspective. 8. View the cause as coming from the Lord. If we understand that He allows disappointments, we can find meaning in trouble. And 9. Confess three things. The Heavenly Father is with me in the pain. He's in control of my life and has allowed this for a reason. And He is a good God who will not let this disappointment be in vain. Try speaking these truths out loud. Discouragement may sound harmless enough, but don't underestimate its power. By keeping watch, you can avoid its deadly trap. So we suggest that you write down these nine steps on an index card and then review the list whenever disappointments start to consume your thinking.